So, all right, Grant, what will it take for... I think we know what the power of this deck is. We, we know what the power of Sasha is. What will it take for a Vault Warrior to win this matchup? Oof. Bad draws on Sasha's part probably would be great for it. Um, other bad stuff... I don't actually know. Like, the Shadow's House and Sasha doesn't seem that great. It just seems like it's just there. The other two houses are beautiful. So it'll come down to how well Saucer draws and how quickly the Vault Warrior can get its keys and then maybe try and hit off a cheeky Imperial Forge yeah, to get see its the... third key before the combo pops off. So I think if you're your best insurance for um, your best insurance, if you are Matt, sorry, Matt is the... Martian Generosity deck. Dang it, they switched decks on me. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I got lied to. I was lied no to. Worries. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So your best, if you're Gale and you're playing the the World's Collide deck, the best insurance that you may have to um. Are we, Aurora? Are we back up? I think we're back up. But the best insurance you may have to uh to a grunt buggy to to the ganger not combo is having a board that's resilient the problem as i look at the vault warrior deck though is that there aren't a lot of creatures that are super big in the vault warrior deck that can't be blown off the board by the ganger not combo there's a legionary yeah. which can ward something um, guardian it's pretty big. Paraguardian seems like a key card. Let's Ward add that stuff. to the card. Let's add that to the key cards. Like key card in terms of like stopping the drummer not from from going to town. Yeah. I'm saying that grand P A. All Okay, Matt opened up with Marsha Generosity after the mulligan. So let's see what else he's got. He's got Into the Fray with... I can't see the other card, but drops down the Umbra. And it gets stomped. Cool. Oh, look at this, Eric. He has the Marsha Generosity and the Key Abduction already. Oh, jeez. Does that mean he just holds it? It's, a, you know, two chains for the entire game? Well, I don't know. He doesn't Probably have a lot of archiving, right? Oh, he has both Marsha Generosity. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this could be over very fast. Wow, this is... I don't know, man. Looking a little scary. I don't know. It's okay. a good AOA board, that's for sure. So, but but now, see, but now he doesn't need. The, if he was in a drummer not situation, that would be a lot more intimidating. But now, generosity for how many? Six, six cards. Okay, and how many pips does he have in Mars? That's the real question. He has um, key abduction. That's one. Double generosity. It's two. Mars needs amber. Is pip. Bombardment. He already is a pip. played Mars needs amber. Uh, that's it. Those are the only pips. So, very interesting choice of play here. Commentary way ahead of the stream. Um... This is not best yeah, of this three. Should, this should be. Oh, it's not a best of three. No, this is. Uh, I think. I think. Oh, because it's top four. Yeah. I was told earlier that only finals is a best of three, so I don't think this is a best of three. Yeah, Stevator, maybe just try refreshing your stream. I don't know if that's it. Uh, we did have technical <laughs> issues earlier, but I think we figured them out. This is yeah. This is a bo one. Um, finals is a best of three, from what I'm being told. 
cool so if you're the world's clyde deck and you want to win against this this seems like a pretty good way build this big dominating board and then just reap for a bunch get a bunch of amber Use yeah no i mean you 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 got to get there before your opponent does for sure rig lottery cool it's gonna get three amber so this is this this is a very interesting there are a lot of decks where you play rig lottery and you'd like for Brig Lottery to hit for a number, but you're kind of sad because you're discarding Shadows cards. In this deck, you want all of the cards to be... Like, there is no downside to discarding Shadows, right? You want to discard all the Shadows cards because all your power is in the other two houses. So discarding all the Shadows cards is an optimal situation. Um, it looks like Matt has drawn into Grump Buggy and some other Brobnar things in hand. And did he archive the other Marsh Generosity? I did not see that. I think I think that's what he did. Uh, archive that there. With what is it, Death Chronicles? So oh, now he's the is less appealing. Yeah. That's good. Behind Warded Tricer and Legionary. Yeah. So now, actually, Matt is in a bit of trouble because Matt does not have, I don't think, a combo set up. He just got tributed, so Matt only has one Amber, so if he did Archive the Generosity, it's not a good time to use it. He's got five Brobnar cards in hand. He's going to use the Brobnar cards. Um, one would think he's got to call Brobnar here, but, but you know. Oh, and look at Gale holding Axiom in hand currently. And he doesn't have, like, a board clear like Coward's End. Right, Coward's uh, End is to really... To reset these, this oppressively big group of people. Right. He's going to discard that. Oh, he's going to play that. He's going to play what? What did he do? He played Axiom? Axiom. That is very curious. He just killed his, like, his entire board and... Just to kill Just stuff. to kill a Dominator and... Yeah, I don't know that I would do that ever. I don't know. It's really nice having a lot of creatures. What did he ward? Um, he warded the Chan? Word of the Chan. Which Chan's nice? Like Chan. Chan and is nice, but That's don't you? Legit. Wouldn't you want to ward? But you, but you, like you can't. If he kills Legionary, you might have no targets for Chan because you can't use Paraguardian, and Chan's a forced effect. So if he manages to kill Legionary and Raptor here, Chan has no. He can't reap with Chan because that would cause Paraguardian to blow up. Yeah. So like. Oh, this. Yeah. Yeah, like, I would have. I think I probably would have warded Paraguardian if I was gonna play Axiom because. You want to protect that amber, but I, ultimately, I just I don't know. I don't think I would play Axiom there. Like that could be the crucial turn of the match. Yep. So it looks like now he can kill, uh, kill the Parry Guardian and get that amber back, because he has the Germanaut and the Ginger Chieftain opponent archiving was that imperial forge that he quickly flashed down there i think it was could be which is definitely a key card And sorry, I'm trying to resolve an issue with chess. Someone asked what the speed of Sasha was. I don't know what, maybe I'm misunderstanding what they mean by speed. If they're talking about efficiency rating at DOK, it's like a 7. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what they're talking about. Vault Warrior is a 17 in terms of efficiency you get on DOK. Uh, that needs to be retooled. I could have a whole conversation about that. It's something I've been looking at. But, but th those are the ratings on DOK. Anyway. So how's he doing on how's Matt doing on clearing this board here? He's doing a pretty good job. Can he get to the Because he still has the drummer knot, so he's going to be able to do. Oh, we have the com the here. combo in full effect here. Yeah. Are we counting the number of? What is he used Ganger Chieftain twice so far? I think so. Uh, but he's going to be able to kill it. He's going to go up to what nine amber.
cool fighting the uh, so okay chief engineer walls. So Steve slash Carl is saying that they have a counter at the table. Cool. To keep track of activations, that's cool. Think of what you kill Garcia here, and then just finish it off by running into Pair Guardian. Yeah, I think so. The other option you could do is you could make Bramo the last bounce on Drummer Knot and replay Bramo. But I think yeah, I think you for sure you you have to end with killing Pair Guardian. All right. And yeah, the other thing he's probably going to forge here though, and how much Amber is going to have after that. Is he going to have enough to actually use Martian Generosity? Well, we'll see what other Mars cards he draws. What is, does he have any Mars? He has no Mars cards in hand. There's one creature. So he only has one Mars creature. Grump Buggy's on the table. I don't think that Gale has a lot of cards he can play that will that will make Grump Buggy matter. He's got Flux in hand. Oh, he's going to reveal Tribute. No, he's not playing Tribute. He's just revealing Tribute. Yeah, just revealing it. Yeah. <laughs> to archive it so he's, he's got flux good. i said earlier that i think flux for five is pretty good it does kill the ganger chieftains here but then it's also going to kill his entire board it basically flux is a board wipe which i don't know that he wants to do right now xeno trip well he's definitely not playing Flu what yeah because you have you well, I, mean, well, I guess you just play xeno trading for the amber i was very confused yeah, why he was back. capturing yeah it's an amber so you just i Sorry, I was very confused. I'm like, why are you capturing Amber if you're going to kill everything? But that's fair, because you're allowed to... It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You're just getting the pip. So the interesting question here, does he play Martian Generosity? Um. All right, so remind me, he's got three Amber. How many cards he's got in deck? Not many. Not many. So you're redrawing back into deck? Yeah, I think I would. Because he only has three Shadows cards, which aren't great. What one's a Yancey Gang? One's a no. I would, I would, I would go. I would go Mars. I would play Generosity card. here. Yeah, take your archive. Play Generosity for 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 eight. Yep, eight cards. And you have some. If you have some chance where you draw the other Generosity immediately, and crazy things happen, but you also can like. You also at least you're 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 doing better than your end of turn draw would be right that was a really wacky shuffle yeah i don't yeah that that's was good weird. his opponent shuffled that yeah i don't I, I didn't really understand what was going on there either that but... was almost the las vegas shuffle right uh, there uh, too soon <laughs> Grant, too soon no uh, too soon okay So what do you get? Anything special? Um, Bunch of creatures. That's pretty good, Dominator. That's still good because if he's able to... Well, just having that in general. But then he's got he's got a handful of what? Like normal draw plus four, four to six cards? He's got a handle like nine to ten cards. So... Oh. Oh, cool. They're listening to our commentary. Yeah, they're... Uh, Apparently CKM saw the shuffle, uh, and yeah, that's is, good. Uh, we don't want any like witch hunts on on. Yeah, no, I'm not. Yeah, after obviously we we were joking, but yes, obviously very good that that true randomization has occurred on the shuffle for sure. It's also cool that that in, that seems to indicate that uh, CKM is directly listening to us talk, so we can like we can wish things into existence if uh, if there are any rules issues, which is kind of cool. <laughs> nice. It's like, you know, don't have a lot of power in everyday life, but every now and then you can speak things into existence on the other side of the world. Kind of fun. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what, the Vault Warrior, Gale, he has the Tribute, he has the Imperial Forge uh, in... In his archive, does he also have a Shrix? That would be really cool if he could get that. Because that would be a way to forge his third key. Yeah. Potentially before. So we had he had to pass back while leaving the proliferator on the table. <coughs> so yeah, we did archive generosity. That's really rough. It's gonna get real bad from here. <coughs> Excuse me. So 
so the game looks like it it definitely might be over well gale is doing the correct things gale is uh trying to limit the amount of amber matt can get from reaping <coughs> Ooh, axiom axiom is very good there Axiom's definitely pretty good. Yeah. You surviving? You didn't die? Yeah, no, I'm not dying over That's here. That's good. Uh, I just uh, inhaled some water in the wrong way, apparently. But I'm very much alive. Here he's dying, yes. I appear to be dying. Well, technically we're all dying, Wookie, just very slowly. <coughs> but, you know, I try to be a little more optimistic than that. So, okay. Matt has generosity in archive and a handful of shadows cards. So he just plays out all the shadow cards here. Do you, do you agree with this? Uh, it seems pretty fine, yeah, because he's still getting Amber. <coughs> Playing them out ready, though. No, I don't agree with that. Yeah, no, that's, that, is, that is strictly incorrect. <laughs> Bad form. Strictly incorrect to play the creatures in ready, but, you know, it's just a thing that people do. I guess the other benefit is you also draw more cards, which have a chance to be Mars cards, which gets you closer to the key abduction and the other Martian generosity. So yeah, as long as you can like, as long as you don't allow your opponent to forge his second key, because once he forges the second key, then Imperial forges online. If it goes online, back to his turn, yeah, yeah Imperial yeah. forges online and he has the tribute. Yeah, and he could potentially have the Strix to make it real bad. So it could get a little scary. <coughs> talking about something yeah so he goes to check okay Do you exhaust your upgrades or just creatures? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, chat. I when when we're gonna attack you on pulse. You exhaust the, oh, cre the creature. Oh, the creature. Yeah, the creatures with, with the upgrade. Yeah, 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 yeah. So did he draw it? Martian or uh, key abduction? Yeah, he has key abduction. He I just did. saw it there. And the other generosity. This game could be over. Oh yeah. Because he could just play key abduction now and then generosity. Well, no. Does he have how many oh, more no, pips? No, no. Does not, he have in not, Mars? Not key abduction now. What's that? Just get like three amber. Just get like three amber off your Mars cards and then well, you, play. Well, you Mars get Generosity, one amber for key abduction. Or just win. Yeah, no, I think you play key abduction first. You get the free key. You get amber on the key. But if you're thinking about trying to cycle back into the key abduction, that's dangerous. Well, I mean, either oh, way, sorry. you're getting he, a free he only key. Had one like, key. Yeah. I forgot about that. I thought he had two keys already. Oh. oh. No. That was good. I'm glad the game's not over. Yeah. But I'm saying he could, <clears throat> if he has any more Ambergen in Mars. Yeah. All right, Carl telling us that Alejandro has won the other matchup. So Alejandro will be playing the winner of this matchup in the finals in a best of three. He's going to play a creature ready, which is not legal, but probably won't matter. Hopefully he won't forget that he... And he doesn't play... He holds generosity. Wormholes into Eddie. Yeah, I think if you're if you're Gale here, you have to kill the Mind Worm. You want to kill 
anything that can reap out of Mars turns and generate amber, right? Um, hmm. <coughs> I'm not sure. Like, he's not, he doesn't have any other Mars cards. I don't know if he'd actually go for it off of four. Well, I think it's unlikely, but I think long term, draw. well, this match isn't going to last a whole lot longer either way, but. I think Gale he, just needs to forge one key. He just yeah, needs no, that, to get to yeah, a second he needs key. To, he needs to set up. Needs to set up uh, a situation where at least he gives himself a chance by getting forge online. So he's gonna plasmate Gamji. I would kill something. I wouldn't do this unless you unless you have something to follow up to kill it. Because that doesn't that does literal no. Okay, he does. Good. That's fine. Then then you kill the gang and Gamji. Oh, or that. No, that's better. Yep, that makes mm -hmm. a lot more sense. Kill the Mars creature, can't reap. All right, Gale making a comeback. Well, all so this really really comes down to can Matt take him off the key here? <clears throat> so Gamji steals one. Fights Redlock. Does Redlock have skirmish or elusive? I thought it was just does it have skirmish? Uh let's figure it out. Redlock has skirmish. Oh. For some reason I thought it had elusive. Alright, well, useful. <clears throat> Yeah, I think the players are selectively remembering to exhaust their creatures or not exhaust their creatures. Oh, and he's got a nerve blast in hand, so he can take Gale off check. Yeah, that's brutal. Yeah, that's a real problem. He just buys that's, that's more time. That's a real time feel bad, point. feels bad moment right there. Yeah. Because his out to win was forging a key here. Because he has, he has Shrix in hand, if I'm reading his hand correctly. He has Shrix in hand. You said, did someone say that he has Tribute and Forge Yeah, archive? he has a Tribute. He has Imperial Forge. Oh, and he has an all archive. this Captured Amber already. And yeah, he has that, what, the second Tribute there? That was probably necessary. That was probably necessary for Matt to do to not immediately lose the game. Like, I think he would have lost the game if he passed back and Gale was on uh, check. Also, Matt's creatures yeah, are not. Well, he's going to do it. It looks like he's going to do it. Anyway, now, yeah, has Matt, to there you Matt go. From okay, just there winning go. straight off. What? I'm not sure what's happening. What is he doing? I don't know. <laughs> he unstunned a raptor and then he sacrificed a pair of guardian to kill a Yangtze gang. Yeah, which is fine because the Strix. Because he needs the tribute onto the Strix. Oh, right, because he needs. I see. He needs Force. to make it the biggest creature. There, you're right. That does make sense. Yeah. <sighs> Now, if he Imperial Forges, he at least takes most of his Amber. Like, that's probably right. But this 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 sequence would have won the game if he yeah. was allowed to forge at the beginning of turn. So the, what Matt did was 100% necessary. So Imperial Forge, and he spends, what, 10 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it, it cost him 10 total, I think. Oh, there's one more. So it cost him nine total, and he could spend seven of that on Shrix, so he only has to spend two out of pool, and he's still in check? That's pretty nice. That is very nice. I mean, it's obviously not winning the game. He would have preferred to win the game. Oh, he has to spend even less? Did I count wrong? I must have counted wrong. Well, now Matt has to win now, or take, take Gale off check. What is happening? He has the second tribute that. Ooh, he and he's <clears throat> spreading out the amber. That's interesting. Why would you do that? I guess you just make him kill more things. <clears throat> so he exalted to repeat the process by putting one on Legatus Raptor. Okay, so there are multiple tribute triggers. That makes sense. I think I understand what happened. He played both. He had two tributes. He played them both. He moved the amber around. Yeah, just play the second tribute after the Imperial Forge. Right. I'm a little confused as to why he put all the amber on Amber Tracker, but 
I guess, is that armor token an actually a war token? Because if that armor token is a war token, then that makes a lot of sense. Because he's putting it on the warded creature. Ah, that's why. That's what he's saying in chat. So I, that must be what the armor token is. That must be a ward. Okay. Well, that makes some degree of sense then. Yeah, it'd be nice if we had like players on stream using the official tokens. Or just or not, like, not even the official tokens. I'm fine like with any actual, tokens as long as it's clear what the actual tokens wards are. Actual wards for wards. Right. Yeah. Like I like when you put an armor token on something that is very confusing to me because that doesn't. I don't know what that means. Like, I well, I do know what that means, and it means something different than what you're intending it to mean. That's just the only. Yeah. Okay. So Matt is going into Brobnar, which is interesting. Does Matt have a stop in Brobnar? He's using Ganger Chieftain to fight Umbra. Uh, he has Grump Buggy. I don't think he has... He is... No, he doesn't have any other cards. So did he not have... Did he not have... He's trying to use the Umbra to, to go to town. Oh, this is... Does this... So we could fight... Oh, this is brilliant, actually, if this works. And he steals... Is he getting the steel triggers off Umbra? Okay, he is. He's got to do almost it there. two more oh, times. Oh, man, this, this would be crazy if he did it with Umbra. Reap, reap Drum or not. Fight there, fight Shrix to bounce that to hand. To play mm -hmm. Ganger Chieftain to kill Amber Tracker. Okay. Steal one. Now he's down to six. He needs one more. Does he have one more? I don't know that he... Relentless Assault! Yeah, he has it. Fight with Umbra one more time. But he must do it now, otherwise if he does it with anything else, then there won't be anything to fight into and he'll lose. He's now counting the number of cheat and activations... I think there were three Umber hits. There were three Umber hits, meaning there were three Ganger Chieftain hits on Umbra. There was at least one Ganger Chieftain on Drummernaut. I think he's got two more Ganger Chieftain hits and more Umber hits than he'll need. So I think the Ganger Chieftain hits are the only relevant factor. So you play Relentless Assault here to fight with Umbra into Raptor, then you fight with some some other creature. So he plays Bangle Bang Bang. The only thing that can cause him to lose is not use Umbra first here. Okay. He's gonna fight with Umbra into Raptor to steal one. My guess is that's maybe it. We'll see. He's going to fight. Oops, awkward. Yeah, you should have taken used a used a different creature. Should have used a Chieftain instead of the Drummer Knot. But, so he kills him or with the, the Drummer Knot. And he does, get to reap, now... he does get to reap with the Bang Bang. Yeah. So he is at a total of... It looks like nine. I think he's at nine. With a Martian Generosity in hand. Yeah, well, I mean, wow. like... It's yeah. That was that was, crazy was, that was right the there. the Umbra was the only of all of the cards that we have identified as key cards and all the other things. The creative yeah. Umbra play is the thing that saves him in all likelihood in this matchup. That is wild. Um, yeah, that was that was beautiful. That was very well played. The Umbra MVP round, and that's it. Matt has won. We will have AOA in the final. Wow.